According to the FIGO classification is very important for all of the gynecologists because the management of vulval cancer is done when we understand the uh, the staging. Okay, so let us discuss the stage one. The stage one is divided in two stages. Further stages: stage one A and stage one B. Okay, so what is stage one A? Stage one A is the condition in which the lesion is less than two centimeter in size. It is confined to vulva or perineum uh, with a stromal invasion of less than one mm. Okay, and there is no uh, nodal metastasis. Okay, as there is no nodal metastasis, the risk of nodal metastasis is very low. So we do wide local XCN in such case. Okay, so we have to remember lesion of less than two centimeter. Okay, the next is that of stage one B. Stage one B is the condition in which lesion is more than two centimeter in size with a stromal invasion of uh, more than one mm. Okay, and it is confined to vulva or perineum with a negative lymph nodes. So again, the lymph nodes are negative in both stage one A and one B. The lymph nodes are negative. So how we treat it? Treatment is done by radical vulvectomy with a bilateral lymphadenectomy, which is in fact the modified. Uh, radical vulvectomy procedure okay now coming to the stage two okay in the stage two what happens that there the tumor is of any size with extension to adjacent perineal structure one third or lower third of the urethra one third of the vagina and anus and with the negative lymph nodes lymph nodes are negative in such case okay and what happens in stage three Stage three is the condition in which there is a tumor of any size. Okay, size uh, is um, of any size, more than two centimeter preferably, uh, but um, there is no specific demarcation. It is extended to the adjacent perineal structure, perineal structure or involved. Okay, what are perineal structure involved? The one third of the urethra. Okay, lower one third of the vagina and anus and positive inguinofemoral lymph nodes. So stage three is the one in which the lymph nodes are um, becoming involved. In the stage two, up to stage two, we had the negative lymph nodes. So in the stage three, the inguinofemoral lymph nodes are involved. Okay, now stage three is further divided into three A and three B. So what is in three A? Three A with a lymph node metastasis of more than five mm. Or one to two lymph node metastasis of less than one, but less than five mm. Okay, so if we have less than uh, five mm metastasis, so one to two lymph nodes, and if um, uh, even one lymph node of more than five mm is involved, that is stage three A. What happens in stage three uh, B? If two or more lymph nodes are of more than five mm, and three or more lymph nodes are less than uh, five mm. Okay, so that is the difference. So what happens in stage three? In stage three, there is a positive lymph nodes with the extra capsular spread. Okay, extra capsular spread is also involved. That is stage three. Now coming to the stage four, advanced stage. Okay, what happens in stage four? Tumor invades the other region, like um, two third of upper urethra, two third of vagina, or distal structure. So what ha happened in stage four a? In stage four a, tumor in weights any of the structure upper urethra and vagina mucosa of the bladder mucosa of the rectal mucosa or fixed pelvic bone or the fixed um, ulcerated inguinofemoral lymph nodes if these are involved then it is stage 4a okay so stage 4 uh, stage 4b is the um, advanced stage as compared to stage 4a Okay, in stage 4B, what happens that there is any uh, distant metastasis, including the pelvic lymph nodes. Okay, so it um, goes to the distant organ like um, liver, like uh, brain, anywhere it can go, and uh, including the pelvic lymph nodes. Okay, so that is the main difference between the A and B. Okay, and... Uh, uh, like in 4A, we had the fixed or ulcerated um, inguinofemoral lymph nodes. And in stage 4B, we have any distant uh, metastasis, including the pelvic lymph node. So that is the stage 4B. Now, coming to the uh, point uh, in which we discuss the management of different types of vulval cancer. Like we have different types where you have verrucous type, we have melanoma, basal cell carcinoma. Verrucous um, type of the vulval cancer is treated by wide local XCN, okay, melanoma also wide local XCN, while the basal cell carcinoma by radiotherapy.
okay so uh, this is all about the staging uh, for the discussion we will try to make another video thank you so much for your patience allah peace